Hey guys, in this video we are making a pair of crochet shorts. To do this, I am using the Lion Brand Pound of Love skein of yarn. This is a number four medium weight yarn, and I chose to use this yarn over the usual Red Heart yarn that I use because it is on the thinner side even though it is a number four medium weight yarn. So I would suggest using a number four medium weight yarn on the thinner side or even a number three lightweight yarn to do this. I am also going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook and a 5 millimeter hook to make these shorts. To get started doing this, I am using the 5.5 millimeter hook and my yarn. I am using the 5.5 millimeter hook for this beginning chain because this Lion Brand yarn does not have very much stretch to it when it is in the chain. If the yarn you are using does have enough stretch to it in this beginning chain, you may not need to use the different size, but that is up to you and the yarn that you are using. So we are going to go on to start a chain for the top of our shorts. If you need to see how to do this or anything else in this video in closer detail, I will link videos for those in the description below. So we are going to go on to work a chain that is comfortable for you around your waist. You do want this to be a little snug so that your shorts do not fall off, but you do not want it to be too tight so you can't see through your shorts. So again, you will want to go on to work a chain that is comfortable for you around your waist. For me, I am going to chain a chain of 112. It does not necessarily matter the number that you have for this beginning chain, whether it be odd or even or a count of whatever number, it does not necessarily matter. Although I do find it a little easier to start increasing around your hips and for your legs if it is a count that is even. So I am going to work 112, like I said, and I do find it easier to move on to the next step if it is an even number. When you have the amount of stitches that you would like for your beginning chain, you will then make sure that this chain is straight completely all the way back to the first chain that you made. You will insert your hook into that stitch and slip stitch into this stitch to make this a loop. For the next row, I'm going to be switching from the 5.5 millimeter hook to the 5 millimeter hook. Again, if you did not need to use the bigger size hook for the beginning chain, you will not need to do that. So for this next row, we are going to start with a chain 2, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to double crochet into the same stitch and into every single stitch all the way around the beginning chain, making sure that you have the same amount of double crochets as chains for your beginning chain. When you get all the way around that row, you will then slip stitch into the top of the very first double crochet. You will now want to go on to repeat this row for another row or two at least to create a band around the top of your shorts. I am going to go on to repeat this row for a total of seven rows because I do not need to start increasing for my hips and legs until then. So basically you will go on to repeat this row as many times as you need to until your shorts start becoming too tight and then we will start increasing for our hips and legs. How many times you work this row also depends on how high or low you want your shorts to sit. So again you will want to go on to repeat this row as many times as you need to to create a band at the top of your shorts or until you need to start increasing for your hips and legs. Okay, so I have worked these seven rows that I need for the top of my shorts, again with 112 stitches all the way around. You may have more or less rows than this, it doesn't necessarily matter. We are just going to go on to start increasing for our hips and legs. 
For this next part is also why I suggested using an even number to make this easiest on us. So as I said, I am using a stitch count of 112. We are going to start off by dividing the number of stitches that you have in half. So again, I am using 112 stitches and half of that is 56. So to start this next row of increasing, we are going to start with a chain of two. And we're going to work two double crochets into this first stitch. And that is the first stitch of the first half of our shorts. So I am going to go on to work one stitch in the next 54 stitches, which will put me at 55 stitches through the first half of my shorts. So you will want to go on to work one stitch in the next however many stitches that you need until you have one stitch left on the first half of your shorts. When you have worked that all the way around until you have one stitch until the very middle stitch of your shorts, in my case the 56th stitch, we will then work two double crochets into that next stitch, the middle stitch of your shorts. So, so far for this round, we should have two double crochets in the very first stitch of the row, then one double crochet in each stitch all the way until you have one stitch left until the very middle stitch, and then work two double crochets into that stitch. We are then going to go on to do the exact same thing for the second half of our shorts. So we are going to start off with two double crochets in the very next stitch, which is the first stitch of the second half. And then we are going to work one double crochet in each stitch until you have one stitch left for the second half of your shorts. When you have one stitch left for the second half of your shorts, we are then again going to work two double crochets into that same stitch. And that is the end of this row. So we are going to slip stitch into the top of the very first double crochet of the row. So we have basically now just added two stitches to both halves of our shorts. So for the next round we are going to do the exact same thing by chaining two which does not count as a stitch, and we are going to work two double crochets into this very first stitch, which is the middle stitch of these two, two double crochets in the same stitch. So that is an easy way to keep track of what stitch you are going to work two double crochets into, not necessarily on this side, but for the other side of your work. So we are going to go on now to work one double crochet in each stitch all the way until you hit these two, two double crochets in one stitch on the other side of your work. So here I am at the two, two double crochets in the same stitch. I have worked one double crochet in the first of the four already because as I said, this is the 57th stitch of the first half of my shorts now. So we are going to go on to do the same thing as the last row by working two double crochets into the last stitch of the first half of our shorts, which is also the middle of the four, the first middle of the four. Then we are going to go on to do the same thing for the second half by working two double crochets into the first stitch of the second half which is the second middle stitch of the four. Then we are going to go on to work one double crochet in each stitch until you have one stitch left for the second half of your shorts. When you have one stitch left before the end of the row, you will then work two double crochets into the same stitch and slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of the row. And you will see that this side is exactly the same as the other with two double crochets in the same stitch in the middle two of the two double crochets 
from the last row. And that is on this side and the other side of your shorts. And it should be in the very middle, lining up. So this is where the middle of your legs will be when you connect it underneath you. And this will be a leg hole, and this will be a leg hole when you are finished. So we are now going to go on to repeat this last row however many times you need to until these two sides have about two to three inches until they meet underneath you. So you will go on to work two chains and two double crochets into the first stitch, then one double crochet in each stitch all the way until you come to the two double crochets in the same stitch on the other side of your work where you will work two double crochets in both of those middle stitches. Then work one double crochet all the way around until you come to the last stitch of the round and again you will work two double crochets into that same stitch. And again repeat this until you have about two to three inches in between these two middle pieces until they connect underneath you. If you need to increase your rows more than this at any point, that is fine. You will just want to make sure to add the same amount of stitches on both halves of your shorts. I'm going to go on to repeat this same row for another seven rows for a total of nine increasing rows. And that is how many rows I need until I have two to three inches for these two sides to connect underneath me. Again, you will want to work however many rows it is that you need. When your shorts are the length and width that you need, we are going to go on to connect the two middle parts on both sides of the shorts. Again, for my shorts at this point, I have seven rows with one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Again, seven rows of that and then I went on to work nine rows of increasing the exact same way that we went through for a total of 16 rows so far. So to go on to connect these two sides, we're going to start off with a chain and a single crochet into this first stitch on this side of the shorts. Then we are going to work three chains and this is for a total of four stitches in the middle of these two sides so far. So we are then going to go to the other side where we have our two double crochets in the same stitch. And we are going to go to the same stitch on this side, which is the middle on the left side. And we are going to slip stitch into that stitch. So just slip stitch right on into that stitch. Then we are going to turn our work. When you have that turned around with the chain in the middle and you are now on the other side of your shorts, you are now going to slip stitch into the next stitch, which is the other middle stitch of your two double crochets in the same stitch. Then we are going to again turn our work just slightly and work a single crochet into this first chain that we worked in the middle of the two sides. So go right into that first chain and work a single crochet into that stitch. We are then going to do the same thing in the next three stitches, again by single crocheting in all of those stitches. When you have made it across, you will then slip stitch into the next available stitch just like we did on the other side. And that is all we are going to do for connecting it in the middle. And we are now going to go on to work the legs of our shorts. To work the first leg, we are not going to work down this side like you would assume. We are again going to turn our work back this way. So we are going to work back across the stitches that we were just working. For the first row of the leg and every row after, we are going to do the exact same thing by working one double crochet in each stitch all the way across. 
starting with the four stitches on this chain in the middle, then working a double crochet in the first available stitch on the main part of the shorts, and again working one double crochet in each stitch all the way around this leg of the shorts. You can, of course, bring any stitches together at any point that you would like to either close holes or just bring in the tightness of the leg of your shorts to fit the shape of your legs. So we are going to start off just like we have been with a chain two, which does not count as a stitch, and work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around until you get back to the first double crochet of this leg. When you get all the way around that row, you will then slip stitch into the top of the very first double crochet of the row. You will now go on to do the same thing by working one double crochet in each stitch all the way around for however many rows you would like to until you have the length for the leg that you would like. Again, you can bring two stitches together if and when you would like to, to tighten up the leg and make it fit the shape of your leg. You will want to remember exactly how you worked this first leg so that we can work the exact same amount of stitches in the same way for the second leg. So again, go on to work this as many times as you need to to make the leg of your shorts the length that you would like. When you have worked your first leg to be the length that you would like it to be, you will then finish it off and cut the yarn. I ended up working five rows for the length of the leg. For our second leg, we are going to start on the back of our shorts, which is also where we finished off the other leg at. We are going to start with a loop on our hook and simply slip stitch into whatever stitch on the back of the shorts that you would like to. Again, just slip stitch that right on to the back of your shorts. So we are going to start off with a chain two, just like we have been, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to double crochet into the same stitch and into every single stitch all the way around. You will want to work this leg the exact same way as we worked the other leg. So if you brought two stitches together at any point, you will want to do the same thing for this leg and again, work this leg to be the length that you would like it to be. When you have double crocheted all the way around this second leg and you are now to the chain space in the middle of the two main parts of your shorts, you are going to do the same thing by double crocheting one time in each stitch all the way across this chain, making sure that you have four double crochets across this chain, just like you did on the other side. Then continue on working one double crochet in each stitch all the way back until the first double crochet of the round and again work this leg to be the length that you would like. And that's all there is to it so I hope that that was helpful and enjoyable for you. If it was please hit that sub like and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. I hope that you guys go on to create many more amazing things and until next time guys I'll see ya.